not going to get stuck? Um, yeah, possibly. Morning everyone. Last night we stayed at a nappy recycling centre just off the main road. It's pretty noisy and smelly here so we're hoping we can find somewhere a little bit nicer to stay tonight. It rained quite a lot overnight so we're really hoping we can get out of here okay. We've also heard there's an ancient Greek ruin just up the road so we're going to go check that out on the way. So we found the Greek ruins, apart from they're not Greek, they're actually Roman. So it's a good job this is a travel vlog and not a history vlog. Apollonia was an ancient city built by the Greeks and later invaded by the Romans. It was a thriving city until an earthquake caused the nearby river to change course and flood the land, turning it into a malaria-ridden swamp. The Museum of Apollonia was looted many times during the fall of communism in Albania and reopened again in 2011. Well that was our little history lesson for the day, now to find somewhere to park up for the night. So we just had someone knocking on the door telling us we're on their land now and um, they're a bit pissed off that we've torn up all the grass so I think it's now time to leave. Trouble is we've got to tear up more of their land to get out so it's going to be good fun. Everyone warned us not to drive at night in Albania and not to drive when it's raining and today we've done both and now we've got to go and find somewhere to park up in the dark. So we're still driving, trying to find somewhere to park up for the night. I think we've found a place, it's about half an hour away, so fingers crossed we can get down to it okay. 
but that really is the beauty of wild camping. We're determined not to buy a campsite tonight. Sometimes you can really land on your feet and find the most amazing place to stay for the night. And other times this happens. But we haven't paid for a campsite yet and we're determined not to tonight. So we finally found somewhere to settle for the night. It's not great, it's just in a lay-by up a really bad mountain track. We got to the city of Burrat only to find that our park up was actually another mud bath on the riverbed. The next day we went into Berat to meet local guide Isaf. He immediately welcomed us with open arms and moments later we joined him at his local mosque for 12 o'clock prayers before he proceeded to show us around the city. Hello everyone, we are on Berat now. Famous is uh, city of flowers, white city. There are many names for Berat, for the beauty of Berat. In front of us are based the mountain of God or Tomori mountain, 2,412 meters. The historians of Roman uh, since in the second century AD that they believe that the tomb of Zeus was on the top of this mountain. And during 17th century, a Muslim branch, which is called the Bektashi branch, they take this fest and they made it one of the biggest pilgrimage uh, places of uh, Bera and all Albania. People go there every 21st, 22nd and 23rd of August to sacrifice a sheep in the honor of God. And it's not only a fest for the Muslims, but everyone is going on this mountain to pilgrimage. Like, the religion here is different from the other part of the world. People here, they believe God. I am a Muslim, I go in the church, I go in the mosque, I go in the synagogue, whatever I need to go. Also about Tomori Mountain, last year it was about 700,000 Albanians who went on the top of this holy mountain to make this pilgrimage. And why the God Mountain? Because also as Homer wrote, wrote he thought that the God's Mountain is always covered by the clouds. And as you see in Tomori Mountains, it's always cloud, even when the weather is so cool and so nice. On a place where I'm now, it's called, uh, let's say, the Saint Michael place. Because just behind this camera is the church of Saint Michael. He was, he is the main angel, the one who is taking your soul when you die and it takes you to heaven or hell, who knows it. People strongly believe on this place, when someone is suffering and he is near dying, you take one stone and you put it under his pillow, so he can go peacefully and easily in the other part of this life. On my right there is Gorica, there is a neighbor, created during 16th, 17th century. Mostly Christians live in Gorica. We have about three churches in Gorica. And we have also the famous Gorica Bridge, which was built during 1777. So Berat, as I told, it's famous as a city of craft, city of 1,000 windows, a city of flowers, city of artists, and also it's known as a city of the tolerance between the religions. So since in the 14th century here lived in peace Christians, Jewish and Muslims, respecting each other, respecting the religions of each other. So when there is a Merry Christmas, it's Merry Christmas for everybody here, not only for the Christians. When it's Bayram, it's Bayram for everybody. So the main tradition of Albania is respect, respecting the guests and the others for coming in this land. Hello everyone, welcome in my castle. We are inside the castle of Vera and here is the Holy Trinity Church, one of the oldest churches of Vera. It's a Byzantine church, which is unique and still well preserved. It's also kind of a mythic church. There is a church with a 
dome and if you look it from upstairs it seems like a cross. And from here we can see all the glory of Berat, all the beauty of Berat, valleys, mountains, old walled churches. Only inside the castle of Berat they believe it was 42 churches. This is one of the oldest one. And still nowadays people live inside the castle of Berat. So it's a unique sample in the world because life goes on without interruption. Since on the 4th century BC till nowadays we have people living here. I am one of these people. I lived here. Many, many wars are made in here. One of the most famous wars was one that Skanderbeg, our national hero, did it. He fought against the Ottomans for 25 years and he lost one time. Guess what? He lost here in Berat, unfortunately. There are still houses here and the house of the castle of Berat, they are from 17th century, 18th century. So here is kind of the mosaic of the cultures. We have the Illyrian culture, we have the Byzantine culture, the Ottoman culture. Also the religion itself is something special here, like only the castle, uh, many churches, 42 churches, two mosques. We don't know why so many churches inside the castle of Berat. Maybe it was kind of a center of Christianism. You saw the Christianism came in Albania during 30 or 40 years AD, which means it's one of the earliest states who became a Christian. But also during the Ottoman time, they allowed here to build churches. So this is Byzantine time, it's earlier than the Ottoman time. But also during that time here we have like both the religions. We have the Muslims and we have the Christians. We had a great time exploring Berat with Isuf. Meeting up with locals really is the best way to delve into the culture and understand the places we visit.